A Temple of Reason French, Temple de la Raison was, during the French Revolution, a temple for a new belief system created to replace Christianity, the cult of reason, which was based on the ideals of reason, virtue, and liberty. This religion was supposed to be universal and to spread the ideas of the revolution, summarized in its Liberté, Égalité, Fraternité motto, which was also inscribed on the temples. Within the Temple of Reason, atheism was enthroned. English theologian Thomas Hartwell Horn and biblical scholar Samuel Davidson write that, "...churches were converted into temples of reason, in which atheistical and licentious homilies were substituted for the proscribed service." <laughs> Services The symbols of Christianity were covered up and they were replaced by the symbols of the cult of reason. In the Churches of Reason, there were specially created services that were meant to replace the Christian liturgy. For instance, at the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, on November 10, 1793, a special ritual was held for the Feast of Reason. The nave had an improvised mountain on which stood a Greek temple dedicated to philosophy and decorated with busts of philosophers. At the base of the mountain was located an altar dedicated to reason, in front of which was located a torch of truth. The ceremony included the crowd paying homage to an actress dressed in blue, white, red the colors of the Republic, personifying the goddess of liberty. <laughs> Churches transformed into temples of reason After Catholicism was banned in 1792, many of its churches were turned into temples of reason, including the Notre Dame de Paris Cathedral, November 10, 1793; the Cathedral Notre Dame de Chartres; Église Saint Sulpice, Paris; Église Saint Paul Saint Louis; the Basilique Saint Denis; the Church of Les Invalides; the Church of Thomas de Quino; the Pantheon de Paris. The Church Saint Pierre from Montmartre, the Cathedral Notre Dame de Reims, the Cathedral Saint Pierre et Saint Paul de Troyes, the Notre Dame de Versailles Church, Église Saint Pierre de Caen, and many others. <laughs> 